Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about one of my favorite subjects, which is lipstick. And I really got to thinking about doing this video after realizing how many questions I get from just my friends when I'm out and about and I'm wearing a brighter lipstick like this bright red color I'm wearing today. It kinda got me thinking and I was like, well maybe I should put together a video of my favorite tips and tricks to getting a really good result with your lipstick and also how to make it last all night long so you don't have to worry about it and you can just have fun and know that your lipstick is right where it's supposed to be on your lips and not like all over your face or faded or anything like that. So regardless of what lip color you're going for, it's always important to start off with a smooth surface to your lips because then your lip color will look smoother as well. So I always like to exfoliate my lips, especially if I'm going to be wearing a drier matte lipstick formula. I'm going to share a little secret with you guys. I don't think I've ever invested in any fancy lip scrub or anything like that. I like to use two things that you probably already have in your house right now and that is a lip balm and q-tips. So this is Aquaphor and this is a healing ointment and it's nothing super fancy. You can find it at the drugstore but it works so so well. It's actually formulated for dry or irritated skin but I just use it as a lip balm. So I just take a little bit of that on the end of a q-tip and just run the q-tip back and forth over my lips a bunch of times and you would be so surprised at how well this smooths out your lips and it removes any uh, dry like dead skin or you know chap skin or anything like that and it just works super well and then I'll go back in and pat a little bit more of the aquaphor and just onto my lips and just let that sink in so that they're nice and moisturized. So another thing that you can do that's kind of optional that I like to do more with lighter or medium tone lipstick shades. I don't find it as necessary when I'm doing a darker color like a red or a really dark berry color but sometimes I like to erase my natural lip color and and what this does is actually just kind of erases your natural lip color so that the lipstick can appear more like it does in the actual tube. So it just makes it a little bit more truer to color and a little bit more opaque. So it just depends what look you're going for. If you like the way that your lipstick looks applied over your natural lip color, then wear it that way. But if you want it to be just a little bit more intensified, a little bit brighter, then I would take a concealer. And you can even use, you know, a liquid foundation while you're going through your face routine. You can use a powder foundation. But I just find concealer to be super easy. So I really like the MAC Studio Finish concealer and this one is an NC20 and this is really great because you can just apply it with your fingers exactly like you would a lip balm and just smooth it right over your lips and then apply your lipstick on top and it just makes it like I said it just makes it look more like it actually does in the tube. The one that I was using was a bright corally pink shade called Playdate by Dose of Colors. So you can see it without the concealer and then applied on top of the concealer as a base. And I was kind of debating if I should show this part of this next part of the video using my favorite pink lip or a red, but honestly, I feel like if you can master the arts of the red lip, you can really master anything in life um, and any color lipstick too. So if you want to do even a darker shade, like a deeper purple or a berry color, it's pretty much the exact same process. You're just using different colors. So why don't we jump in and I'll show you exactly how I got this cherry red lipstick look. Okay hey guys, so for our red lip, I'm going to start off with a lip liner. So for any other color, I consider lip liners pretty optional, but for a darker color, like one that's more bold, like a red, it's just personal preference, but I always like to use them. One, because it makes your lip color a little bit more low maintenance, so it just kind of sticks on your lips, and then after your lipstick has faded a little bit, you still have some color remaining on your lips from your lip liner so it can just keep you from having to touch up as often. Using a lip liner also gives you the opportunity to pick a color that's slightly darker than the lipstick you're using so that can give you more of a sculpted lip look so you can almost contour the outer edges of your lips it just makes them look a little bit more um, gives them more shape and my personal favorite red lip pencil is this one by MAC called Cherry. My favorite way to apply lip liner is to leave the center almost leave a little circle in the center of your lips bare and you can fill that in with lipstick later but so I basically just outline my lips and then fill in the outer corners Probably 
probably would have helped to sharpen this lip pencil before I got started, but that's okay. And I find it really helpful to stabilize my hand a little bit just by resting my pinky uh, on my chin like that. And now for the lipstick, the fun part. So this is MAC Relentlessly Red, and this is a retro matte finish. And matte finishes will last longer than shinier finishes or, you know, adding a lip gloss on top. Something that is really shiny is a little bit more slippery and it can slide around and wear off quicker. And basically just filling in that open space in the center of my lips. Then I'll flip my lipstick over, so I'm using the pointier edge on the bottom and just blend out the bottom edge of my bottom lip like that. Now my favorite step is yet to come, so this to me is the finishing touch. It just takes your lipstick to another level and that is to just go around the outer edges with a flat brush and some concealer. So I'm just using that same Studio Finish concealer I have been using. This is an F75. So I like to use the shape of the brush to my advantage and give it a little bit more pressure. Just kind of press in more and you'll end up with a smoother shape because you're using the long side of the brush. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Again, just using my pinky to stabilize my hand. Okay. Also, don't feel like you have to do this all the way around. Just any areas that you feel like may look a little bit more uneven or rough. And this next step is also optional, but I always like to set my cream products with a powder and especially around the lips because that's going to create a dry barrier so that can prevent feathering and bleeding and just keep your lipstick from creeping into those, you know, outer corners of your mouth and things like that. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush. This is an E50. I'm going to take a powder. This is my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural and Medium Plus and just taking two seconds to kind of set that concealer. Doing this is so quick because probably if you're doing your makeup you already have a face powder sitting around anyways. One last trick. Doing that is kind of weird, but it removes any lipstick that creeps into the inner edge of your lips that it is going to eventually end up on your teeth. Actually really effective. So that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And keep in mind, you definitely don't have to do all the steps that I showed in this video. I don't go through the whole process every time I apply lipstick, but I do if I wanna make sure that my lipstick is locked and loaded and ready to go for a night out. That's when I find all these steps to be super helpful. So I hope that you guys did too. And feel free to leave your tips and tricks in the comments down below because as much as I love sharing my beauty secrets with you guys, I love hearing your tricks as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.